I didn't read at all. <laughs> and I've been like winging it on those tests. I've been just like it's, barely passing. It's tough. I'm like writing down like winging. the questions as like Socratic seminars going on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even write the questions. I just kind of answer all of them. <laughs> oh, I just got a text right now. Um, the pizza's ready. Matt, you want to come with me? I don't, I don't really feel like driving, man. I'm you down know, for just, that. You want to go? For sure. All right, we'll be back in a little bit. All right. Uh, Stay tuned, Jeremy. Make your way out. We just started. <laughs> You guys took forever getting here. <laughs> That's true. I'm starving. I don't even need breakfast. Me either, man. Here are the keys, man. Yes, sir. While the guys are gone, I think we can just loosen up a bit, you know? I'm not too sure. Come on, it won't Come be that bad. Yeah, we I mean... We drive. Okay, but I if mean, we take one, it won't really be as bad. Like, yeah. Isn't this supposed to taste bad? Like, really bad? I mean... Just hold on. Just don't breathe or something. I don't know. Here, let me put on some music, too. It'll just be one. It won't do that much harm. Besides, yeah. They're going to bring pizza, so when you eat, you'll sober up a little bit. Yeah, I mean, we could also just put juice in it, too, so it won't taste as bad. Okay. I'll try it once. All right. It still kind of tastes bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, yeah, hold your nose. <coughs> so, how do you feel now? Different? Really, was it good? It wasn't bad. Hello? ¿Qué pasó? ¿No estoy ahorita? Oh, okay, ya voy. Okay, bye. We have to go like right now. Like right now? Like right now. Okay, nice one.
Is everything okay? Yeah. Uh, kind of. I just need to go home right now. You have your stuff? Yeah, I grabbed it. Bye, Eric. Bye. Bye. Hey, man, should you be wearing your seatbelt? I don't ever wear my seatbelt, man. If I get a ticket, man. This pizza, I don't think this is going to be enough pizza for all of us. <laughs> There's like five people over there. Okay, you're driving kind of weird. Stay no, I'm good. Okay, focus on what you're doing. <laughs> I'm you're good. You're not focusing. I'm good. Maria, stop. Your house is this way, right? No, it's on the, you passed the street already. No, Go straight. We have to turn. Blue face or Hold something. On, Let this car go black. How do you turn the volume up, bro? Right You're messing up my own mind. Chill, chill, chill. We have guys. No! Stop! Breaking news today, a crash in Merced County turns deadly. CHP tells Eyewitness News teens from Los Banos Unified School District are among the dead. It happened just near Pacheco High School. Investigators say there is alcohol inside of the car and the driver had been drinking. Stay with CBS 47 for the latest developments. 911, what's your emergency? Oh my god, I, I just came back from lunch and there's 911. Oh my god, there was just an accident at Pacheco High School. Can you please send us help, please? We need help. Get the police. There's been a crash. Can you please hurry? There's a crash at Pacheco High School. I need help. Please hurry. Oh my god, there's an accident at Pacheco High School. Can you please send us help, please? Please hurry. 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 Please Why don't you come with me, okay? Let's go. Let's take a walk over here. I'll place you in the park.
Yeah. Is everyone here who needs to be here? Yeah. All right. Miss Karina, she's an 18-year-old female, uh, approximately 68.9 kilograms. She was involved in an unrestrained passenger who was ejected from a motor vehicle accident. Uh, on her original assessment, she had obvious head trauma, unstable pelvis, recrepitus, open femur fracture with a large laceration to her lower right leg. We gave her full spinal precautions, have two IVs started. Uh, in route, she became unresponsive. We intubated uh, with electronium and ketamine. Uh, she also got a grant of PXA. Uh, the last blood pressure we got was 80 over 30, and then on, on the way down, she coded. Okay. So we've been doing CPR since. Perfect. Continue CPR, please. Thank you very much, you guys. Yeah, Absolutely. Be good right now. Checking for breath sounds. I'm not hearing breath sounds here. All right, let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and extubate. Okay, so let's grab an Ambu bag for that, please. Okay, hold CPR for a moment. Hold CPR. I don't feel a pulse. Go ahead and continue CPR. Continue CPR. Let's go ahead and lower the bed down so she can get up there. Perfect. Okay, doing an assessment here. Pupils are unresponsive. She has major trauma to her head. How's the breathing? Is it going through? Take a listen as well. You hear? Okay, that's working a lot better. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and get her on the monitor. Perfect. Are those IVs? Patent right there. We can go ahead and pass that to me and I can hang it up. Thank you. Okay, we need one milligram of epinephrine, please. IV. One milligram of epinephrine. Whenever you're ready to switch off. Perfect. Good. Okay. Switch, yeah. Let's get her on that monitor right there. Perfect. All right, one mil of epi going in right now. Okay, you're getting good pulses with your CPR. Good job, good job. Okay, perfect. So we've got V-fib. Let's go ahead, we're gonna try and defibrillate. Let's bring over here on that monitor. We'll bring the monitor a little bit closer. If we can, and if you pass me the paddles, that would be great. Yep. We'll go ahead and charge at 120 to start off with. Yep. Everyone clear, everyone clear. Okay, and ready? Clear, 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 and shot. Good, continue CPR. Continue Immediately CPR. back into it. Okay, we still have got V-fib on the monitor. Let's go yeah. ahead and get 300 milligrams of amiodarone. IV, please. Good CPR. Perfect, so what do we have here? It looks like we have an open fracture down there. Unstable pelvis. She's got significant head trauma. Good CPR, perfect. Let's do one more milligram of epinephrine as well while you're there, please. CPR is doing good. Hold CPR for a moment. Let's check the monitor. Still be fit. Okay, so we're going to shot. Go ahead and give that epinephrine while we're going ahead and let's uh, go to 200 joules this 200. time. Okay, continue CPR right while we get now. it ready. Perfect. So that's two epis total now here. All right, and charging. Continue CPR. Good. Ready for shot. Okay, clear. Everyone clear. clear. Everyone clear. Everyone clear. Oxygen clear. One, two, three, and shocking. Good. Continue CPR. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and give another milligram of epinephrine. Okay, one epinephrine. Yeah, go that way. Sorry. And I'm looking on the monitor, and it looks as though we might be having a rhythm change there. All right, one ml of epi in. Okay, it looks as though she's going into asystole. Okay, which means we can't shock her anymore. This is not looking good, you guys. Okay, continue CPR. That's all we can do. Uh, CPR, epinephrine. I'm going to wait another couple minutes. Good. Perfect. Good CPR. Okay, how long should she be down now? We're working on... It's been at least 10 minutes. I don't know. I don't think that we're going to get her back here. I'm going to check pulses here. Fixed, unreactive. Unreactive. One more, one more epinephrine. Let's just try it, guys. Good CPR. One more epinephrine. I don't know. There's not much else that we can do for her. Got the bleeding control. She's got a good airway. All right. One ML of epi in. Probably just has too much brain damage. Okay. 
Pause CPR. I feel nothing. She's not coming back. I'm really sorry. I'm gonna have to call it. Time of death is 11.49. Too many of these. Will the faithful be rewarded when we come to the end? Will I miss the final warning from the lie that I have lived? Is there anybody calling? I can see the soul within and I am not worthy. I am not worthy of this. Are you? fall upon me when the air is growing thin will the light begin to pull me to its everlasting will i can hear the voices haunting there's nothing left to fear yeah let's go right, right, this guys. is uh matthew garcia 18 one eight year old male uh chief complaint of head neck and back pain with positive uh, loss of sensation and movement to the lower extremities uh, Matthew was the restrained driver of a head-on collision at approximately 30 to 40 miles per hour. There was one additional death in the vehicle, uh, no rollover. There was positive intrusion, uh, less than 18 inches in passenger space. Uh, no loss of consciousness. He does have some pain to the uh, lumbar and sacral region, pump palpation. One, two, three, four. One. I'm sorry, you said seat belt to driver, is that correct? Seat belt to driver with a, a positive death in the passenger space and the passenger uh, area. Okay, hey! No, no drug allergies, no, no medications, no history. Got it. No hey, what's your name? Matt. Matt. Matt, I'm Dr. Matt Hester. It's nice to meet you. What happened today? Um, me and my friends were driving. Me and my friend Marcus were driving. We we're going to go get something to eat. We were coming back from a project. Uh -huh. And I think somebody pulled out in front of us. Okay, all right. Matt, any alcohol today? No. Any drugs today? No. What's hurting you right now? My neck and my back. Your neck and your back? Okay. All I right. can't really feel my legs. Are you breathing okay? Is your yeah. tummy hurt at all? No. No. Do you have any medical problems? No. Do you take any medications? None. None of that stuff. Okay. Give me some nice big breaths in and out. Another big breath in and out. Any stomach pain when I'm pushing? Uh, no. Can you feel your arms okay? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Can you move your arms? Or can you move your arms? Yeah? All right. What about your legs? Can you move them for me? No. Both of them or just one? None of them. Okay. Can you feel when I'm touching you? I cannot. You can't feel when I'm touching you. Okay. Any pulses, Doc? No, no pulses. Actually, no, I got the pulses. So both legs have pulses, but no sensation, no movement. Give yourself a hug, okay? All right, hold on a second. Does this hurt? Yes. Okay. Can you hold his head? I just want to look at his neck. Don't move. Okay, trachea's midline. Pelvis is stable. On the count of three. One, two, three, roll. Keep Hold. him like that so I can look at the back. Hold. Hold. Get his clothes you. off. I'm going to tuck them so that we can get them out. Okay. Does this hurt? Yes. 
Does this hurt? My whole back. Does this hurt? Just where I'm no. touching. Does this hurt? No. Does this down hurt? Down lower, yes. Does that hurt over there? I'm starting not to feel it. You don't feel it down here? No. Okay, diffuse spinal tenderness. I see no scrapes, no abrasions. On your count? One, two, three, roll. Okay, hold him. Let's tilt him just a little bit further to get his clothes out. Pull him out. Okay. Yeah, let's get blood work started. Do we have x-ray? They're on their way. All right, we need a chest and a pelvis x-ray, please. Um, no, I think we're going to family on their way, actually, that's, that's the more important question. Family's on their way down? Okay, great. Perfect. Thank you very much. Hi, this is Navarrete. I'm, I'm Dr. Lepard. Um, I am really, really sorry, but um, your daughter was in a terrible car crash today. She had a terrible head trauma and broke her pelvis and broke her leg, and um, her heart stopped, and we couldn't get her heart to go anymore. There were many fractures in the head, in the leg, to try to resuscitate her, but she couldn't do it. She died today. She died. I'm so sorry. You can come and talk to her if you want to. I'm so sorry for your loss. <laughs> so we've gotten the results back of your CAT scan, okay? And it looks like you have a fracture in your spine. And what does that mean? So unfortunately that means that there has been um, a good amount of damage done to your spinal cord. And that's the reason why you can't feel your legs and move your legs at this point. So am, am I going to get feeling back to my legs? There is a good chance that you may not and that you may end up paralyzed from all of this. So then I will never, no walking. We're going to have the neurosurgeons come take a look at you, okay? And they're going to try to operate and see what they can do for your back, okay? And then, of course, a lot of physical therapy. And the hope is, is that at some point you'll get some movement and some sensation back. But there is a good chance that you won't be walking again.
All right, come on in. Take a seat on the blue bench over there, please. He's got some questions for you and stuff, okay? Do you have any health or medical issues? No. Do you take medication for anything? No. Seizures? Did you uh, go get medically cleared already? Yes. Okay. All right, this officer is going to do a pat down search. Make sure you're not bringing any sharps, uh, weapons, drugs, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm follow Officer Rivas, what's your first name? Maria. Maria, okay. Go ahead, stand up for me and turn around. Spread your feet. Spread your feet as far as they can go, okay? Is there anything on you that I need to be aware of? No. Okay, no weapons? No. Okay. And take your hair clip out. Okay, Maria, I'm done with searching you. What you're gonna do right now is you're gonna have a seat on the brown bench to my right. Do you see that? Yes. Okay, you understand what I just told you to do? Yes. Okay, go have a seat over there. Officer Manning will tell you what to do after that. All right, Maria, I'm gonna ask you a series of health and medical questions, all right, and some of your background, all right? Yes. Do you have a headache? No. Did you have any recent surgeries? No. All right, Maria, go ahead and stand up, please. We're going to walk through this gate. Go ahead. Turn to the right. Turn to another right into this room. Go ahead and face this computer, the blue one. All right. We're going to go ahead and get your fingerprints. Make sure you are who you say you are. All right, go ahead and take a seat on the green bent, green chair. All right, we're gonna go ahead and grab your fingerprints. Go ahead and stand up, please. Go ahead and hand me your right hand. I'm gonna take the reins for a little bit, all right? Turn to the left. Stop. You see those horseshoes? Yes. Go ahead and stand on them, please. Go ahead and look up at the camera. At the count of three, you're gonna take your picture. One, two, three. So now we're gonna put you in a cell, okay? These are your bedding, okay? Cup for water. We're gonna head down that way, all right? Keep going. All right, stop. Turn to the left, you're gonna enter that room. Ma'am, my name is Dan, I'm with the coroner's office. And as you know, there's been a car accident. Um, there are several that were on the scene that have said that this is your son, Marcus, I believe. Um, but it is a requirement that we ask you to do a visual ID, please. It's Marcus. Yes, ma'am.
to stand up for what you believe and follow it through. When I try to make it make sense in my mind, the only conclusion I come to is a hell. Heaven.